Um, I thought they were really consistently good. Um, you know, I think the things that we talked about this week in training um, were that, you know, aside from the first weekend when we played Embry-Riddle and Troy, I thought that was the best weekend we've had with two games back to back. Um, I thought we competed really well against North Florida. It was less of a soccer match and more of, you know, a, a, a competitive match. And by that, I mean, it was, you know, a lot of aerial duels, a lot of physical play. Um, and I was proud that we showed up and competed from the get-go. And then we found pockets where we could play soccer. And that's how the goal resulted. Sunday, I thought we played fantastic. Um, you know, the first 10, 15 minutes was very good. Then we hit a lull. Um, but we ended up with over 400 passes. I thought we created more better opportunities against Jacksonville than we did against North Florida, to be quite honest. Um, they finished their chances and you know we just didn't do a good enough job finishing our chances, but I was very encouraged by how well we competed and played. I think it's an environment that you have to try to create in training for your players, and particularly your forwards, where you know they have to start to get confidence seeing the ball hit the back of the net in a variety of situations, being put in competitive games that force them to finish under pressure. Um, and then getting them to really just believe in that. And then when the, when the opportunity comes in a game of being able to stay in that moment and you know, not panic, not rush, and be composed, you know, that, that's the toughest thing in the world to do. That's why people who score goals make a lot of money. I think, you know, travel in, in the conference is always, is always difficult. I think what makes this trip more difficult is that, you know, we're flying uh, to Nashville and then we've got to drive in between Nashville and Cincinnati or Northern Kentucky and then flying home. So, you know, that presents a little bit of a challenge. But um, I just think in any conference that you play in, it's really difficult to win on the road. Um, you know, the other team's always going to be more comfortable than you are. So it becomes even more important to do the little things right. Prepare mentally. You have to start well. You can't give up early goals. You can't get behind on the road. Um, you know, I think those are some of the key factors. And then, you know, doing a good job just taking care of your players and making sure that they get the proper nutrition and rest and they're hydrated, which, you know, sometimes when you're flying and stuff, it's, it's difficult to organize meals and things. So, I, you know, we got to do everything right from an organizational standpoint, and then we got to help them prepare mentally for it. Well, I think we're going to have to play our style first and foremost, and then we have to do it for 90 minutes twice on a weekend. And then I think we have to finish our chances. And, um, you know, once again, with not having played these teams, only seeing them on tape, um, only looking at games from last year, I, I mean, I just haven't been able to see that much of a difference except, uh, you know, aside from the top, top couple teams. Um, so, you know, I, I expect it to be a very difficult game on Friday, and I expect it to be a very difficult game on Sunday. It's We'll play on field turf again, so I'm glad that we've done that on two occasions already. You know, once again, South Carolina State and once at Detroit, so uh, that won't be a shock to us. But, um, you know, we're just going to have to play well consistently and start well.